Good evening, traders. Hmm. My apologies. Um, this is uh, the 23rd of June. This is, uh, I'm going to roll into Thursday's trading session, and you can see this market, all markets across the board are poised to take out their highs. You can see the NASDAQ made another high, I believe, yet, uh, today. And you can see oil's taking off everybody. I believe we rolled down. I talked about this earlier in a week. Dow got down to that 50, actually 100. And they're trying to get back on board. So they have some work to do. That's the only thing that kind of concerns me. In fact, let's take a, let's take a look at this. I'm curious where this, um, this trend line is coming in. Right in there around uh, 34.2. I mean, the Dow's got work to do. I got to believe if they get above 34,000, it, it's going to probably build some momentum. And I think it's probably significant that it holds this, this 33.8 area. Um, we're just going to have to see how this plays out tomorrow morning. But you can just see how this thing has held and it's bounced. And you can see here, all these markets are just ready to roll. And the ES, as long as, you know, you're going to want, if you find any type of pullback in the morning, you're going to want to, I really feel the aggressive trade is to is get the best long opportunity. And that's down here where these MAs are sitting around a little underneath, I think, 2420. But, you know, it might be hard for us to get to there. Um, you can just see today, we couldn't even get to the pivot today, and the pivot was 29. And you can see that all this support right down here, 42.29, and we're ready, way back up here around 42. So I just don't know. Well, we're going to have to see how this plays out. Um, like I said, it seems like this thing is holding on, and I think they're ready to do some serious damage to the upside. So... I, ideally, we want to be long, but you want it from the value locations. So be smart. Uh, you got this trend line right here coming in right around 37, which I believe is the pivot for tomorrow. It is. So usually on a bull trend acceleration, the pivot is the first key location. Of course, your MAs are always significant. And right now, they're actually sitting right around that location. So, we're going to see how they, they roll down. Um, are they higher right now? Are they going to still... Yeah, we settled at 31. So, any type of pull down to settlement and beyond, I would think it would be a golden opportunity to look for a long tomorrow. But let's just see how this plays out. You know, I don't know if they go gap them higher, they might make a high first and then roll down. Or they, you know, I just don't know. They could be one of those days where they just accelerate and just explode through the contract tie, which is, which I believe is 58 a quarter, which is also, I think, uh, I believe it's. I think it's our, it's the second resistance levels, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, it might even be the third resistance. It could be an out, it could be an outlier day to the upside is the way this thing is setting up. I mean, they, they didn't bounce and hold for, for no reason. And it looks like they're setting up and poised to maybe blow out these contract highs. Every market is done. So NASDAQ oil and the Dow is the only one that's really lagging. So, I don't know. We're just going to have to pay attention and see how this plays out tomorrow. So, once again, look for the opportunity to get long. Um, this is a little too early to tell. This trend line, I don't know if it's going to be relevant right now unless it continues to accelerate and ram them up to the contract high. So, this one, I, I really don't take much emphasis on. I think this is a key location down here around 29.30. And I think that plays out fairly well. Uh, let's take a look at these old trend lines and see what could be really, really important for tomorrow. 
uh, some of them are really far below so I just don't know if these if this market is ready to roll over hard but if it does I think you're gonna want to pay attention because I think it's gonna be a really good opportunity to get long for any possible run to the contract tie so I pay attention to that in the morning we'll see how this plays out overnight you know, once again, Dow's got some work to do. It's got to get above uh, 34,000. Uh, 34, and if it could get some, there's got a lot of resistance up there. They got a lot of MAs moving averages to deal with uh, between 34. Let's take a look at that really fast. And you can see around, uh, yeah, 34, 34, 1. And anything above, uh, 34.2 and they're challenging big resistance this could be the breakout so you're going to want to watch this and the dog gets rolling above this it's going to be a breakout and it's only going to push the es and everybody else a lot higher like i said look at this market it just looks like it wants to just take off so let it prove itself and let's look for the opportunities to get long tomorrow when they present themselves today was a nothing day uh, I didn't put on a trade all day. It just was a total chop fest. I think the market's just buying time. Uh, I think we got something coming out tomorrow early. We might have some relevant numbers. So let's just see how the market digests that at 7.30. And, you know, let's get ready to make some money, guys. Um, this is uh, MR Strategies. This is the 23rd of June. And my name is Mike Rabinowitz. Once again, you know, if you guys like what you see, and you you want to take a stab at this and you want to start trading this reach out to me i'd be glad to get you started and uh get you headed in the right direction so you guys have a great night and yeah, we'll let's, let's, let's talk turkey tomorrow morning have a good night everybody